Pat Herbert, the holder of a name famed for many years in the Limerick Hurling area. And the line ball sent out over the sideline by Conor Hayes for a line ball far side of the field for Limerick marching up the field. 2-9 to 1-6. It's a good lead if you have it. It's not an exactly safe lead if you if no matter whether you have it or not. The ball sent in and sent wide. As I was trying to get out, 2-9 to 1-6. It sounds all right in the last few minutes of a game, but in a hurling match, it can change so quickly. Well, a little bit of satisfaction in that count. Jimmy Carroll. And again. Joe McKenna. Eamon Cleveland coming out now with Mel McInerney after him. Willie Fitzmaurice is in. Oh, Joe McKenna. A rather awkward charge, so they say. Sean Silk apart from awkward clearance. Point. A delightful point there once again by Bernie Ford coming across from the right wing over to the left and without even looking he knew where the goal post was sent it over and Galway lead 2-10 to 1-6 look at that for utter satisfaction back come Galway Ryan right, McInerney under pressure getting the ball out comes out to Ollie O'Connor Trying to get it in, Jimmy, oh Jimmy, I hardly knew you, it's gone out, it's gone out over the end line, the uh, umpire signals that it is a 65. And Jimmy Carroll, who's down injured, just hobbling away now, but now striding out and going to take his position. Sean Foley to take this very important 65. the referee not satisfied with something he's down having a word with Frank Burke and telling him that he must be standing behind the 45 meter line Frank was doing a little bit of jumping up and down in front of uh, the taker Sean Foley who now has as they say in the trade take two And it's Michael Canini out over the sideline. A line ball, a line ball here for Limerick. Limerick pressing, pressing, pressing. Galway leading. And the intended pass read by Michael Connolly. PJ Malloy. Bernie Ford going for it with Dom Punch, and there is a line ball for Limerick. 2-10 to 1-6, Galway the leaders. Dom Punch. Leonard and right under pressure. From John Connolly. John Connolly in now towards Bernie, Bernie Ford. John Foley and the referee awards a free out to Limerick from their own 20 meter line Leonard M right down there and look at look at eh, there with his hand up to his uh, mouth there just on the left is Inky Flaherty a man who did great work outfield for the Galway men down through the years and does he look anxious even though they do lead 210 to 16. And they're just uh, attending to Leonard now. And the referee is taking up his position. And the free will be taken by Donald Murray. The referee signaling him to place the ball back a bit further than Bertie had it. 
Donald Murray. John Silk. Stonewall Silk in there in the centre. And John Connolly. Tommy Quaid now. And he's put that down. That's Galway today. They don't give up for any second. Look at this. They're chasing, chasing, chasing. And forcing down punch to put the ball out over the sideline under all kinds of pressure. About three times it looked as if Tommy Quaid must get that ball out, but the Galway men kept harassing him. TJ Malloy. Herbert going out for it. Down punch. John Connolly. Leonard M. Wright. And the referee has blown his whistle and awards the free to Linda. Frank Burke looking a little bit mystified, but nevertheless going to take his position while going to take the free is down punch. The score, 16 points for Galway, 9 points for Limerick. And now Limerick are going into the attack. Willie Fitzmaurice, Joe McKenna back in at full forward, and he's got this one, he's going through, he takes his shot, it's safe! It's saved by Michael Canini, and he's got the ball in his hand, and he clears it out. All three Nagayana. And here is Dave Punch all alone in the centre of the field. Brian Carroll, Michael Connolly, Ollie O'Connor. Pat Herbert getting it up now towards Ali O'Connor. Ali in towards the ball now. Joe McKenna going up through it down McInerney. Nobody in in front of the goal if Joe does get it, but he doesn't. And the referee is awarded a free to Limerick. A free to Limerick on the 20 metre line, slightly to the left of the goal, and Eamon Cregan, I'm sure, will take it. Will he be satisfied with the point at this stage as Galway lead them 210 to 1 6? Or will he try for a Cregan special? Sean Silk having a consultation with them there. And the referee, the referee penalising Sean Silk for standing too near the ball by bringing the ball over in front of the goal. And this could be a blasting operation, by which I mean low, hard, and high to the goal. And there it is. And it's saved by Canini, down to Niall McInerney, and McInerney out to the far side of the field. Ball held there by Michael Connolly, who's having a field day in the centre of the field. In it goes towards the goal. Bernie Ford, Niall are out of the wing, yes it is Bernie. Getting it to Frank Burke. Pat Herbert after the Frank Burke shot, saved by Tommy Quaid. Out towards Brian Carroll, and here comes Brian. Brian with a long ball, way up the field. Joe McKenna going through with Don McInerney, and Joe McKenna's got it. He takes a shot, and it's a goal! A goal for Limerick, and Joe McKenna is the scorer. That goal has been coming for the last ten minutes, and it's come now. And here it is again. Joe McKenna taking his shot, and into the net. He was under pressure from about four Galway men. The score, only four points between them. 2-10 to 2-6 in favour of Galway. About 17 of the 35 minutes gone in the second half. Willie Fitzmaurice. Beaten over there by Sylvie Lenard. Jimmy Carroll. Joe McKenna once again, but he's held as a free to Limerick. Free to Limerick. And Eamon Cregan is going to take it. About almost 30 metres out from the Galway goal. Dead straight in front of it.
and it's over the bar for a point and now there are only three points one goal between them Galway two goals and ten points Limerick two goals and seven hurling history is full of games which Limerick look like losing and yet they won it's even more full of games where Galway looked like winning and yet they've lost which game is it going to be today? Here comes Sean Foley for Limerick, shaking off a tackle, and another as he hits the ball up the field. Joe McKenna and Niall McInerney. McKenna getting it again, but beaten this time by Niall McInerney, who goes back with a loose ball. Not that there's much loose play up there. This is Frank Cork. Trying to feed it up along the wing to Bernie 